Hi, thanks for joining me in another video. Let's talk about what electric vehicles we can look out for in 2022. It's exciting how many new vehicles are being announced and many that have been delivered in the past year in 2021. First, let's take a look at some data on EV ownership. This chart from the U.S. Department of Energy shows the number of electric vehicles registered by state as of December 31, 2020. They point out that California has the largest amount of EVs registered at 425,300 vehicles, followed by Florida at 58,160. The lowest state with EVs registered is North Dakota at 220. In total, nationwide, there are 1,019,260 electric vehicles registered. Globally, Europe and China take the lead in EV ownership. From 2019 to 2020, Europe made a massive leap in both PHEVs and battery electric vehicles. Last year, Tesla started deliveries for both the refreshed Model S and X. I even had the chance to review a Model S Plaid. It's such a fun car. Lucid Motors also delivered their first vehicles to their owners with the Lucid Air Dream Edition. These cars have been impressing reviewers with its luxurious interior and sporty performance. The Rivian R1T has been delivered to a few lucky owners as well as the first two R1S models being delivered to their CEO and CFO. I've seen a couple of the R1Ts in person and I've got to say the little details they put in the truck makes it a great adventure vehicle. The 2021 LA Auto Show was held in November and it showcased several new EVs and concept vehicles. In fact, the tagline for the show was Recharged and featured quite a few electric additions. The GMC Hummer EV Edition 1 pickup started deliveries to customers at the tail end of 2021. I should really say customer because they only delivered one of the Edition 1 pickups, but it's a start. On a less positive note, GM has an ongoing recall on the Chevy Bolt batteries. On their webpage, they state, as part of GM's commitment to safety, experts from GM and LG have identified the simultaneous presence of two rare manufacturing defects in the same battery cell as the root cause of battery fires in certain Chevrolet Bolt EVs. So the recall includes Bolt EVs from 2017 to 2022 and 2022 Bolt EUVs. They also have caution notes for owners asking them to set the max charge to 90% and not have the battery deplete to less than 70 miles and to also park your vehicle outside. GM wasn't the only one with the recall. Hyundai also is recalling 2019 to 2020 Kona EVs and 2020 Ionic EV vehicles due to the issues in the battery cells manufactured in the LG Energy Solutions China plant. Hyundai also recommends that owners adjust their max charge to 80% in the meantime. I hope all these vehicles get taken care of soon so that confidence comes back to would-be EV buyers. Moving on to what vehicles we might expect to see this year in no specific order. The Cadillac Lyric starting from $58,795. Reservations for the 2023 Lyric debut edition are full, but the website states you can order through your local dealership in the summer of 2022. Cadillac estimates it will have over 300 miles of range on a full charge. The debut edition will have level 2 charging rates up to 19.2 kilowatts and DC fast charging rates of up to 190 kilowatts. Inside it will have a 33-inch diagonal display screen. That's huge. Looks like these type of large continuous display screens will be seen in a lot of upcoming EVs. Launching later this year is Canoe's lifestyle vehicle. I saw this vehicle on display at the LA Auto Show and the seating and spacing layout was different. Definitely a space you can use for a variety of activities. They will start at $34,750 and get up to 250 miles of range. It will have 188 cubic feet of space in the interior. They have four options to choose from, which range from two and seven seats. BMW iX xDrive 50, what a name. It will start at $83,200 and get a range of up to 324 miles. This has a max of 516 horsepower and can do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds. Those are some good specs, but I still can't get over those big fake grills on the front. BMW calls it an intelligence panel. BMW states, since the electric drive system of the BMW X requires only a small amount of cooling air, the kidney grill is completely blanked off. Its role has dually turned digital and here it functions as an intelligence panel. Camera technology, radar functions, and other sensors are integrated seamlessly into the grill behind a transparent surface. Select models of the Fisker Ocean will be arriving this year. They have three trim levels and a launch edition. The launch edition Fisker Ocean 1 will start around 69,000 and will be a dual motor all-wheel drive with a 350 mile range. Eventually, they will have the Fisker Ocean Sport coming in much cheaper at $37,499 with a 250-mile range and single motor in front-wheel drive configuration. There are also trims in between, including the Extreme and Ultra. 
Fisker will be opening their first Fisker Experience Center sometime this year in the Grove Shopping Center in Los Angeles. The Ford F-150 Lightning is expected to arrive this year and will have two battery options to choose from. The extended battery range will provide up to 300 miles and the standard range battery will get you up to 230 miles of range. It has a targeted 10,000 pounds maximum towing capability and 2,000 pounds maximum payload capability. The Lightning has four options in their series lineup. My favorite part of this vehicle is the Ford Intelligent Backup Power, which allows you to use the truck as a backup power source. Your home does have to be properly equipped with a grid disconnect to use this feature. I want to see how this is configured. Their advertisements show it powering the house using a J connector, but I don't believe backflow of power is allowed in the spec. There may be some proprietary Ford stuff going on there. Coming in spring 2022 is the Genesis GV60, a crossover utility vehicle. It will come standard with two-wheel drive or have the option of all-wheel drive and performance. Not sure what their estimated range will be, but their spec sheet does not include that information. With the performance, you can get up to a total of 360 kilowatt max power output. Two things stood out to me in their preview interior features. They have a screen on the door by the driver, looks like a view from one of the cameras. It also has a floating crystal sphere, not much to it other than it creates an aesthetic look in the interior, letting you know when the vehicle is ready to drive. We will see continued deliveries of the Hummer EV pickup. There was only one delivered in 2021, so this is more of a 2022 vehicle. The pickup gets an estimated range of up to 350 miles. It can output up to 1,000 horsepower and does zero to 60 in approximately three seconds. That's pretty quick for such a large vehicle. It also has a setting called Crab Walk, which uses a four wheel steering. The vehicle can drive diagonally. Looks like a good and fun off-roading vehicle. In certain states, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 will be coming early 2022, and for others, that will be mid-2022. There will be four trims available. You can choose a rear-wheel drive option with a single 168 kilowatt motor with 300 miles of range, or an H-Track all-wheel drive with 74 kilowatt and 165 kilowatt motors and get 269 miles of range. The standard range will start at $39,700 and the limited starts at $50,600. It definitely has a unique and eye-catching design, especially with the pixel design LED headlights and tail lights. If you're still watching, Kaya says hi. The Kia EV6 is a five-passenger crossover with a targeted range of up to 300 miles. It's listed to do 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. It will be available in rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive capability. It comes ready for both 400 volt and 800 volt DC fast charging. Their website states that the 800 volt DC fast charge provides up to 210 miles in only 18 minutes. It also has an available onboard power generator port that allows you to charge some devices like your computer or phone. Again, we see that curved long display inside. Adding to the Mercedes-Benz EQ lineup and scheduled to arrive this year to the US is the mid-size sedan Mercedes-Benz EQE and the SUV EQB. The EQE will offer up to 410 estimated miles of range. The EQB will initially include the all-wheel drive version and plans for a front-wheel drive later. Hopefully we will learn more about these new cars in the coming months. Mazda's first electric vehicle is the Mazda MX-30. This is a crossover that will be available only in California. It starts at $33,470 and has an EPA estimated range of 100 miles. It falls short in range, but their website states, considering the typical American drives approximately 30 miles per day, the MX-30 was specifically designed to meet their needs. If you're looking for your everyday city commuter car, this might be the EV for you. If you're looking to travel, you'll need to get a second longer range EV. There are other cars out there that do offer a better mileage per dollar ratio than this car, so that's something to think about. If you're considering the Mazda, they do qualify for the $7,500 federal tax credit, which helps bring down the price. I am looking forward to this next EV, which is the Nissan Aria. The Aria will be available in the fall of 2022. You can choose between the Ventra Plus, Evolve Plus, Premier, and the Platinum Plus. Their range will vary by trim, but can get up to 300 miles, and the price for the lower trim will start at $49,950 before incentives. The Venture Plus Evolve Plus and Premier will be four-wheel drive with a 178 kilowatt motor, and the Platinum will come with a combined 290 kilowatt motors all-wheel drive. This electric crossover looks like it will be a good option for small families, plus I really like that Sunrise Copper Pearl color. The Rivian R1S will hopefully be delivered to customers later this year. This SUV has an EPA estimated range of 316 miles and will start at $70,000.
In time, they also plan to launch a 250 plus mile version and a longer range R1S with seven seats. You can choose from three equipment packages, the Launch Edition, Adventure Package, and the Explore Package. It has a towing capacity of 7,700 pounds and does zero to 60 in three seconds. I recently visited their Venice hub where they had two R1Ts on display, nor R1Ss were there just yet. Another electric SUV coming to the market soon is the Subaru Solterra. Subaru calls it an SUV, but it looks more like a compact crossover. The name for this vehicle came from combining the Latin words for sun and earth. It features the capability of symmetrical all-wheel drive. It has 8.3 inches off-ground clearance and up to 30 cubic feet of cargo space. It is estimated to get over 220 miles of range. Surprisingly, this one is one of the few new EVs I haven't seen that doesn't have that continuous large screen in the center. The interior will have a 12.3 inch touch screen. This EV will be available in three trims. I also had the chance to see this car at the LA Auto Show. It was surrounded in their forest themed area calling all hikers and those that love exploring the outdoors. Surprisingly, Toyota isn't releasing a hydrogen car, but an actual EV. The Toyota BZ4X will be arriving to US dealers mid-2022. It is estimated to get over 250 miles of range in the front-wheel drive version and has a 150 kilowatt motor. They will also offer an all-wheel drive option with a maximum output of 160 kilowatts. The BZ4X shares the same platform with the Subaru Solterra. As you can see, the BZ4X and Solterra have the same interior. The newest addition to the Volvo Pure Electric lineup is a C40 Recharge. Deliveries for the US are expected early this year, though they are already available outside the US. It has an EPA range of 226 miles, it can do 0-60 to in 4.5 seconds, and it has 100% leather-free interior. It starts at $59,845 and is currently offered with one trim option in the US. This vehicle will only be made as electric and doesn't have a gas counterpart. The Polestar 3, an electric SUV, will be manufactured in the United States. The car is set to launch sometime this year. Hopefully we will learn more about this EV soon. Lastly, I think we are familiar with this one. We look at the Tesla Cybertruck again. Will 2022 finally be the year of the Cybertruck? Unfortunately not. In a recent Tesla earnings call, Elon Musk said the Cybertruck will be brought to production hopefully next year. This is quite a big list and I expect it to keep growing. Did I miss any? There were so many announced. We also saw vehicles announced for the future, some of which were presented at the LA Auto Show and at CES. Some of these vehicles include the Chevrolet Silverado EV, Dodge E-Muscle, Hyundai Ioniq 7, Jeep Wrangler EV, Lincoln SUV EV, Porsche Macan EV, Ram 1500 EV, Sony Vision S02 Concept EV, and the VinFast VF9. And in other news, the charging infrastructure continues to grow and update as well. There are over 46,000 charging stations, including all levels of charging in the United States. Tesla opened its first supercharger in Hawaii at the end of 2021, so now there is a Tesla supercharger in all 50 states. Blink announced a new generation of charging products. These include new tech for at-home charging, fast charging, fleet, and retail. The future of electric vehicles is looking bright as more options are becoming available. What EV are you looking forward to seeing on the road? And if you have an EV I can review, let me know at info at kaizev.com. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at kaizev and Kai's Tesla. Kai is my dog. And check out my website for more EV resources at kaizev.com. That's all for now and happy charging.